In this session, I'll be showing you how to configure IPPBX with the GSM Gateway. This is the basic network diagram for the configuration of IPPBX with the GSM Gateway. Firstly, we need to add the IP address series over the system network. So, I am adding the IP for the IPPBX as 172.16.1.1. Dot 69 and 192.168.101.69 Similarly, adding the IP for the GSM gateway as 172.16.1.1.69 and 192.168.98.69 ok after this browsing the default IP of IPPBX so going to google chrome here and giving the IP as 172 dot one six dot one zero one dot one giving the user name as admin and the password as admin so firstly we need to assign the IP address so going to network here, network parameters. We need to first check which IP is free for assigning here. So checking ping 192.168.98.69. One six eight dot one dot twenty five space hyphen T. This means that the IP is free. So assigning this IP here as one ninety two dot one six eight dot one dot twenty five. Here the sub net mask will be of C type. You are giving the default IP for the router as 192.168.1.1. Saving it. Now going to the same browser and tapping the current IP as 192.168.1.25 Again giving the username as admin and the password as admin. Then we need to add the extensions here. So going to the PBX extensions if we want 
to add the extension in bulk to so going to add bulk starting the extension with suppose i am giving here 500 creating the number suppose 50 here i am giving the registration password prefix plus extension and suppose the password will be prefix same here also saving it apply changes similarly browsing the JSON gateway IP as 172.168.1 similarly we will be assigning the IP address here. So we are going to network. Here the type will be static. And same procedure we have to follow here for giving the IP address. So first we need to check which IP address is free. So ping 192.168.1.1. Space hyphen T. This IP is free, so we can assign it here. So I am giving here as 192.168.1.26. Here the subnet mask will be of C type. So and the default gateway IP as 192.168.1.1 saving it apply so now going to the same browser and opening with the current IP as 192.168.1.26 giving the username as admin and the password as admin now the second step will be making trunk for communication of these two devices so going to the ippbx trunk here making trunk add suppose i am giving here the trunk name as trunk the host ip will be 192.168.1.26 this ip will be the ip of the gsm gateway and the port here will be constant 5060 then save and apply changes third step will be making the inbound and outbound rules so going to call controls making the inbound rules here I am creating the new one suppose I am giving the name as in and the DID number suppose I am giving as 1002 here the inbound destination will be extensions so I am starting the extensions from suppose 500 then saving it apply changes Similarly, making the rules for the outbound routes. I 
I'm giving here the root name as out. I'm giving the match pattern here as dot which can pass each number. I'm selecting here trunk, adding here trunk. Now I'm saving here. Apply changes. Same thing need to be do done with the GSM gateway. So making trunk here. So going to wipe. Add new SIP endpoints. Suppose I am giving here the name as trunk. So here I am selecting anonymous. Basically, registration type can be of three IP to IP registration, server to client, and client to server. So I am do doing here as IP to IP registration. So I am selecting here anonymous. Here the registration will be none for IP to IP addressing. Now I am giving here the IP address of IP PBX. So it is 192.168.1.25 and the port will be constant as 5060. Save and apply. Now the third step is to create the incoming and outgoing rules. So going to routing here. For that, firstly we need to create the group. So new group here. Suppose I am giving the group name as group. The type will be module only and the policy will be round robin. Selecting all this all the GSM sim, saving and applying. Okay. Now going to the call routing rules, creating here the incoming and out outgoing rules. So Suppose I am creating the incoming rule. I am giving here the name as n. So the call will come in from the group and will be sent through the trunk. Save and apply. Similarly, we will be creating the outgoing routes. Suppose I am giving the name as out. Then the call will come in from the trunk and will be sent through the group. Save and apply. Now for call testing, we will be registering this SOC phone. Searching here for X light. So, so registering the soft phone here. I'm giving the display name as 500. Username as 500. Password will be prefix 500. Authorization username is 500 and the domain will be of IP PBX which is 192.168.1.25. I am selecting here domain. Apply and OK. Hence the soft phone has been registered. Now dialing one number. The call is in progress. 
Thanks for calling Ecom Technologies. In the line of COVID-19, precautionary measure protected by Government of India. Hence, the call is initiated and the configuration of IPPBX with the JSM gateway has been done. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel and do comment below for more videos. Also, hit the like button. Thank you.